Our next talk is from Rushika Gupta, who is 10 years old. She is really fascinated with the ideas of robots that communicate with people. She wants to make a robot for her mom that helps her in the household course. Let's listen to her. Good afternoon, everyone. As a little girl seeing Star Wars for the first time, I have been fascinated by the idea of personal robots. I love this idea of robots that interact with us, which is helpful and always there when you need it. I knew robots like that didn't really exist, but I knew I wanted to build them. I am really fascinated with the idea of robots that communicate with people. But my story is not so much about robotics at all. It starts with me and my mother. My idea is to make a robot for my mom, Sheetal, because she nowadays has a lot of work, especially when my relatives or guests come at our place. She has a helping hand, our maids, but when they get to know that someone is coming to our place, they take a holiday. I want to show you something. Its name is Leo, and this is my dream robot. No, I've not made an actual robot, if that's what you're thinking, but I'm standing here to talk about my dream of building one for my mother. The robot should only listen to my mom and will never be on a vacation. It should not be destructive and should be fireproof and waterproof. It should have four hands, where it both and battery, as well as it can be charged every day at night. It will never say, I'm tired, unless its battery is drained out. It should be cute and will always smile, and looking at it, my mom will also smile. The robot should be accurate in whatever it does. It should be brusque in everything, but not slow. So this is my dream project. I can tell you all the children will fall in love with a robot like this. They will care for it as much as it cares for your mother. I need your best wishes so that I can gather strength to make one for my mom someday. Thank you.